Hello, how are you? My name is Rachel. This is Ladle by Ladle. Welcome to my show. Last, I was gonna say last month, but the reality is it was like several months ago. I made a video where I recreated photos from Iskra Lawrence's Instagram because Iskra Lawrence is they, she's amazing. I thought it would be really fun to continue the series of recreating amazing body positive Instagrams. I know that like the whole recreating Instagram photos trend has kind of come and gone. I don't care. Today I'm going to be recreating photos from another body positive woman who I'm sure you can already tell from the title of this video is Sierra Schultze. Sierra is a YouTuber here on YouTube and an incredible advocate for body positivity. She makes videos on her channel all about body positivity and self-love and fashion related videos for a plus size, mid size body. I found Sierra on YouTube and really enjoyed her videos. And then I had the opportunity to meet Sierra in real life and be on her confidence makeover series that she did last year. That was an incredible experience that I've made a video about here. And you can also go watch that episode of confidence makeover. It's pretty good. And now she is my boss. So I have my full time job where I work as a post-production supervisor, um, right now I'm doing a pilot. Cannot tell you who is the uh, network for it, but it's really cool. And then part-time, I edit all of the videos on Sierra's main channel, and I've been doing that since March. It only made sense when I was looking through my body positive people that I follow on Instagram that she was going to be the next subject of my own series that I've just decided was gonna be a series. And I found a couple of photos that I think I can reasonably recreate with clothes that I already own in the near Los Angeles area. The first one, and the first one I'm going to recreate is this photo right here <laughs> of Sierra and her dogs, Bruiser and Bella, who are so, so cute. I remember the video that this is from because I edited it and I know that she took this in her own backyard. Now, I don't have two adorable little Chihuahua and Chihuahua mix dogs, but I have two amazingly adorable cats who are going to be much more difficult to wrangle. <laughs> and when I was looking in my closet for what I was gonna wear, I don't have a yellow shirt. I don't, I can't, I, don't, I can't believe it either, but I don't have a yellow shirt. <laughs> I have this yellow dress. And it doesn't really look anything like what she's wearing, but except for that it's yellow. We are just going for like as similar as we can possibly do on a budget and on a time budget. Yes, I'm going to wear this dress and I'm going to tuck it into the shorts that I'm wearing, which is a tip that I learned from Best Dressed, which is a different YouTuber here on the YouTubes. And we'll just see how that looks. And then she's also wearing this really cute checkered headband. I do have this black and white striped one, which is really similar so i also don't have a backyard because i live <laughs> in the middle of los angeles i do have a patio that has a fence with slats like that so i need to get my boyfriend and i need to get my cats to all participate in this photo with me so wish me luck Beethoven. <laughs> you know what's actually really funny is that Sierra's dog's names are Bruiser and Bella, which both start with B's, and my cat's names are Beethoven and Big Tuna, <laughs> which also both start with B's. Kind of, kind of cute similarity. Yeah, um, um, well, you know what? Well, you see how you, she has her hand here? If we uh -huh. have like a treat or something in that hand, he might do that. You want to get a treat? are calm now but they will not remain calm. They stay calm for a really long time like that. Oh okay. I think we got we got a, a good enough one. Well that was an adventure. So after uh, editing the original photo and my version of the photo. You guys have no idea how difficult it is to wrangle two young cats, okay? And these cats, they love me. They let me manhandle the crap out of them. <laughs> so that's why I thought I would be kind of capable of doing it, but they were getting exhausted. There was like bugs outside. They were getting very distracted. It was an adventure. The next photo I'm going to recreate is 
a photo from Sierra's Instagram that is a little bit older before her, her recent haircut. Love this photo of her. Uh, it is this one. It is so incredible, so sexy, so just like hell fucking yes. And I was like, I want a photo like that too. <laughs> Sierra is so amazing to me in the body positive sphere because she is so unafraid to just like break all of the rules that like mid-size and plus-size girls are supposed to follow. She wears tight clothes and crop tops and bikinis and all kinds of things that girls who are not super thin were always told were not supposed to wear. And Sierra is one of the first people that I follow that is just like, screw all that. And she always looks incredible. I mean, fashion is her thing, so that makes sense. But I'm excited. We don't know where we're gonna take this. We're, I'm gonna get the outfit on and then we're just gonna drive around and look for a brick wall. So first, she is definitely, definitely wearing makeup in this. Um, and she's got a dark lip. So let me do that. I'm not gonna put like crazy amounts of makeup on, but I'm gonna do a little bit around the eyes and a dark lip and then I'll get the outfit on and then we will go take the picture. My outfit's like slightly different, but only a little. It's got the buttons since her doesn't have the buttons. We had to take the photo in like a pretty public outdoor space. We found a brick wall, but it was right outside of a bar that people seem to be <laughs> going in and out of even though it's Sunday evening. No judgment, no judgment. I have to get up early tomorrow, but that's fine. So I didn't like film us taking the actual photo, but I think we got a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> while we were taking it, Mario was like, you're too pale. My Sierra is a naturally tan, or she's got a darker complexion than I do. And listen, I don't care that it's, well now it's August. I don't care that it's mid-August. This is as tan as I get. <laughs> this is about as tan as I'll probably ever get, but you know what? I like to think that I'm gonna have beautiful skin when I'm an old woman. <laughs> Walking around in public in this, it's fine. It's not like I don't walk around in crop tops or anything, but taking the picture was probably the weirder part. Um, also, it's all black and it's really, 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 really hot out. Um, but yeah, so let's go inside and see how it came out. Here is the original and here is my recreation. Like I said, when we were out there, um, we took this video in a pretty public street. I mean, we took this photo rather in a pretty public street. I am not that kind of social media person. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. I have little to no shame in general, but it takes it takes a brave woman to take a photo like that in public. And I was wearing a really heavy leather jacket and it's really hot out. So it was just in general, quite an uncomfortable experience. We are doing this photo of Sierra on some angel wings in Palm Springs. I don't know if this is like a California thing or an LA thing or a big city thing, but there are these angel wings painted all over the place for people to take their pictures with. I'm sweating like you would not believe. It looks like she's in Palm Springs in this photo. We will not be driving out to Palm Springs as it will be dark soon. I've actually never taken a photo with angel wings and I've always secretly wanted to, but I'm just constantly afraid that people are gonna judge me. <laughs> Screw it, all right? I am channeling Sierra today and I, the thing, one of the things I love about Sierra is that she has no fucking shame about vlogging in public, taking public Instagram photos, like wearing the craziest outfits for her videos. And I find that really inspiring. I do get self-conscious. I think like most people do. And I think we can all take a lesson from Sierra that uh, no one else really cares. So just do what you need to do to get shit done. So let me take my lipstick off, put a ribbon in my hair, change my outfit, and I will see you when we take the picture. Hi, okay, so we have found a pair of angel wings in Glendale, which is not too far from where we live. The problem is the sun is setting and there is a really unfortunate shadow going across the wings. So that hurt. she's in perfect sunlight because I'm sure she took the midday. Ours aren't gonna be like that, but that's okay. The wings actually look really, really similar. Shout out to Mario who found these wings online, not too far away from us, and they look really much, very much like the, the ones that she Oh, that's that that looked like my thumb, but it was your thumb. Whoa. So she's wearing a like bluish green crop top that's like tied. And I don't have one of those. And like I said, we're doing this video on a budget. I'm not going out to go out and buy new clothes. So I have this blue top that I tied with a hair dye and then I just and then it kind of creates that same sort of like bunched up like tied effect that her top had from its construction. And then she uh, she has this like classic hairstyle that she does all the time, which is like a half up with a hair scarf. The hair scarf's a little shorter, but this is the one that I could find that like matched the color the most. Just a little bit longer. It's not that much big of a deal, although I kind of feel like I'm in Greece. I felt like I'm in Greece in the last photo too. I felt very like 
Sandy at the end of the movie, very like, tell me about it stud. And now I feel like I'm like a little summer loving vibe with this hair. All right, well, whatever, let's go take the picture. So we just got the photo, things I've learned about myself. Um, I cannot smile with my mouth closed. Look at how fucking pale my stomach is. Ariel was making fun of me for that in the last post and now I can really see it. <laughs> it's so pale. I think I need to sit out in the sun. Um, anyway, okay, so that was the final photo and I put myself out there and I feel really good about it. So I'm gonna go home and edit that one and I'll show it to you later. Cause now I'm really hungry and I wanna go eat something. I don't remember where I put the camera to make this less awkward. But look, you can see my tattoo in this dress. <gasps> Fun, only the top. Full sexy peeking out vibes. What am I talking about? Yes, so I have taken the final photo and here is the original and here is my recreation. Pretty good, pretty good. I still think the best one was the second one as far as recreation goes, but I like this one despite my extraordinarily pale body. This video was fun and a little bit more comfortable than the last video because, you know, when I was recreating Easter's photos, it was a lot of me in my underwear, which was fun, but like a little like, ah. And this one was a little a little better and I got to pay homage to Sierra which was really fun. Um, truly she is an amazing influence in the body positive community and I've always wanted to do this video so I'm glad I was finally able to make it and I hope that you guys liked it and if you did you can tell me that by giving me a thumbs up. It super super helps out my channel but you know what helps it out even more is if you comment and even most is if you subscribe. So do all three of those things and ignore the sound of the dumpster being dumped out in my alley behind my building and we can all be friends. Okay, thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's how Sierra ends her videos. You know what? I fucking, I was editing like two of her videos today so it's just like in my head. You know, and I'm gonna have to like make sure that I don't steal her mannerisms because I listen to them all the time, so. Bye.